we are heading to 2020 and everyone's kind of thinking year 2000, year 2020, and, and we have a lot of great plans. Um, but in many ways, it's also been quite tough for AIG, not just this year, but a lot of years. So for me, this is a great and an absolutely fantastic turning point where we can kind of do away with the old um, and get on with the new. And, uh, and I think a really big part of the new is, is not just to, to give you a fantastic premise that what I think the market leading team really deserves, um, but it's to give you a, an office where you can work differently. Um, here you have an open plan, uh, you have a living room uh, right here on your doorstep. And this is a whole new way uh, to collaborate as a team. It's not just to give you new furniture and a new coffee maker, but it's, the, <laughs> but it's the way to give you a whole new way of working. And, and that's really what this office is about. It's about teamwork. Uh, it's about supporting one another. It's about transparency. But also it's about accountability as well. And if you've seen my office, um, I had probably one of the biggest offices in all of AIG before. I certainly had probably the most expensive office in all of AIG. <laughs> I hated it. I was behind these dark wooden panels. You had to navigate through Inca's policing, who gets in. <laughs> Sometimes you would let me in there. Um, or out, actually. Um, but now my office is completely transparent. The door is always open. And the people sitting on the outside should not feel that they're under my watchful eye. <laughs> because it works bloody cold ways. I'm under your watchful eye now as well. I can slouch behind there and take naps and, uh, and yell at people. So now I am also under a different level of accountability. And I am part of your team. This is our team and, and, and our AIG Hong Kong. So it's not about me keeping an eye on you. It's all of us working together as one team. I was super keen to sit next to Scott, distribution and the Consumer Alliance team, because I want to be part of the business. I don't want to be in the executive corner uh, where there's maybe a monthly one-on-one -on -one meeting, but I want to be in the middle of it, I want to be part of it, uh, and I want to contribute as well. Um, so that's why we are the way we are. Some, some ground rules. Um, this is your office. Uh, we designed it together, you designed it, uh, you provided feedback, <coughs> and, and we listened. Um, this room, for example, is your living room. It's not a reception that is reserved for guests only. We have coffee machines, vending machines, um, fridges, the wet bar. Uh, this is for you to use. It's not for, for you to come and, and, and welcome visitors. It's not the reception of the old. It's, it's your living room. We have a lot of these open spaces. Um, make them count. Have an informal meeting there. Take a break. No one's gonna blame you uh, for taking a break in the middle of the afternoon. Grab your computer if you can. Grab the report, sit down by the window and read rather than at your desk. Take advantage of that mobility. Um, but also, we are just getting started. Um, I really appreciate your patience getting us to this point. Um, the move went extremely smoothly. And, and all of you had a part to play in that. Um, but also, it's nowhere near over. Um, we don't have the video equipment yet. We are, we, we're still in the middle of unpacking. Um, so please bear with us as we continue to settle in into our new home. But also, please continue to provide the feedback. Uh, it's important that we understand what works and what doesn't work uh, so that we can address these issues early on rather than leave them, um, you know, something that, that we, we resolve going forward. In the spirit of transparency, Write the stuff on the, on the whiteboards. You see a lot of these whiteboard spaces um, everywhere in this office. Grab a marker and write on it what do you think works or what doesn't work. You don't have to put your name on it. You can check the CCTV later on. And I can give you a great example. We went on a tour. 
<laughs> we went on a tour to Ernst and Young's offices, and um, and they had exactly this. And the feedback was extremely valuable. And and one item that I remember vividly is, where is my stapler? <laughs> what it means is small things matter. Um, you know. If, if there are things you need for you to do your work effectively, it's extremely important we know about that. But also, we continue to find ways to change uh, the ways in which we do things. Um, so, um, you know, there's a lot of efficiency in play, um, and, and one of the items that I want to highlight is, for example, printers. We've, we've removed about half of the desktop printers, and I think over time, we'll probably remove almost all of them. Uh, but now what you can do is you can print your annual review, you can print your compensation statement, uh, your confidential other materials securely using our shared printers with your ID card. So, so your personal information is always safe with you um, and you don't need a personal printer for that. Um, super tactical, but I wanted to highlight that as one of the ways in which we continue to improve uh, the, the, the ways in which we work. Um, thank you for your support in designing this facility, um, but also during the move as well. Uh, I do want to highlight our uh, facilities management team who've been absolutely tireless, not just over the weekend, um, but actually months um, leading up to that. So, um, of course, that team is led by Angela, who was here earlier. <laughs> To make this happen. Um, they will listen to your feedback. I'd love for you to share some of the things that work as well. Often it's easy to say things that don't work or could you please fix, but, um, but I think it's important for them to understand how much you appreciate the new space. Um, and I do want to thank you for, for sharing that certainly with me. I think it's great to hear um, that you appreciate that and please share that amongst yourselves as well. Um, but uh, one more round of applause for the <laughs> Right, since I have you, uh, it's been a tough week for Hong Kong. Um, as you've seen over the last uh, three or four days, we will continue to monitor what's going on and, and we'll continue to do all we can to keep you safe. Um, and, and, and I want to ask you to do that. Put your safety first. Even if, when we keep the offices open, it doesn't mean you compromise your safety in order to come to work. That decision is yours. Um, and, uh, and if and when we need to close the office, we will be the first ones to do that. So far, there hasn't been no reason for us to do that. Um, but while the office is open, make your own judgment call whether it's safe for you to come here. Uh, if not, stay at home. Simple as that. Um, come back later that same day or the next day. No one's going to hold it against you. Um, but uh, that's where you have personal responsibility, but we'll also continue to, to do the best we can as well. So, thank you again. I am absolutely thrilled. 2020 is ahead of us. We have a great 2019 behind us. But we have a lot of tough times that we get out with the old and now we get in, in with the new. And this is really a fantastic facility that you truly deserve, and I, I really hope that you enjoy it. All right, thank you.